I read this quote the other day by Gretchen Rubin that said, what you do every day matters more than what you do every once in a while. And I think I couldn't agree more. So here I am back again with another Clean With Me video. I had so much fun making the first one that I thought I might as well keep things going around here. This time around, there was no way I was gonna be able to wait until after the kids were in bed to get started. So while the kids were out playing in the leaves, I turned on my Spotify playlist and got to work. Today happens to be laundry day, so I'm collecting all the things from all over the house and putting them into one place so I can try to tackle this here laundry. This year, I made a vow that endless piles of laundry were not gonna steal my peace. So I just pace myself, ask for help, and get it done. Brian was out of town for work this week, so we headed over to the grandparents' house to spend the night. It's a nice way to practice packing and unpacking, getting ready for our future travels. I so consider it a faith type of thing. So right now, I'm just unpacking all of our things, getting them sorted and put away. So like I've said before, the kids typically help me clean and straighten things all throughout the week. It's a very serious thing around here and mommy can be a little bit extra about it, but I try to relax on the weekends. So while they're out playing, having a good time in the leaves, every now and then I join them, but most of the time I try to get things just the way I like them. You know, set a good example for training purposes and such. <laughs> It's such a balancing act for me um, just to think about the whole, you know, how much do the kids help clean and how much do you just kind of let the mess go. Um, there's just so much fun in the mess, but I feel like there's so much to be learned in the cleaning and the preparations and things like that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm still working on it. Um, and Brian's really good at helping me to kind of relax when things are not in order. I am a little bit, like I said before, very extra about the way I like to keep things. And sometimes that can just be um, a hindrance of joy and peace and happiness in your home. So I'm working on it and I'm really proud of myself because I feel like I'm getting better and better. So while I finish up the last few bits and pieces inside of our homeschool room, Brian has already started on the kitchen, cleaning up from dinner, washing the dishes, and all of that other stuff. He is such a huge help and I cannot do it without him. And this gives me a chance to work on the laundry with the kids. 
Part of finding peace with our whole overwhelming laundry situation was making sure that I always ask the kids for help. I believe the saying goes, many hands make light work. Well, yeah, that is so true. A little music, a lot of dancing, and all of our laundry is sorted and ready for mommy to wash in no time. So can I tell you guys a secret? Um, a secret like I absolutely hate my laundry room. It's like a little tiny dungeon and I definitely thought twice, thrice, <laughs> a whole bunch of times about whether or not I should film in this space. But you know what? It's mine. It's mine and I'm grateful for it. The last thing I have left to do for the night is fold all of this wonderful laundry. I sat, I watched TV, I answered direct messages and Instagram and comments and things and I got it done. I did not get to my room or the bathroom, but you know, we win some, we lose some, we keep it moving. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure you're subscribed. Talk to me in the comments below. Maybe tell me what are some things that you're trying to work on doing every day instead of just once in a while. Thanks again for watching. Bye.